Today I'm going to show you how to make three different body scrubs. A basic body scrub, a foaming body scrub and an emulsified body scrub. I'm using sugar as the exfoliant in these scrubs but if you want to use something more abrasive you can use salt or you can do a combination of sugar and something like strawberry seeds or poppy seeds for example. So first is a basic body scrub. Uh, we've got a mixture of oils here, so I think I did coconut oil and jojoba oil and then you've got your vitamin E and essential oil and just mix that together and then that's the base for your scrub. And then to that uh, we're going to add our sugar. Um, you can adjust the oil to sugar ratio depending how dry or wet you like the scrub. Um, this is a fairly dry one and you just mix that in and then you're done. That is your basic scrub. I'm using these 100ml uh, pet jars because they're recyclable and as I've said in a previous video I do reuse them because I use all of these products for myself. Um, so I'm just going to fill that jar and that's your first scrub. Since it's an anhydrous formulation and it contains lots of sugar and oils, you will not need a preservative for this and the vitamin E prevents it from rancidity. Um, just be careful when you use it because obviously if you're using it in the shower you might be introducing water with your hands. Um, if you think this is going to be a problem then you can add a preservative. Um, this is our second recipe. Um, this is for a foaming scrub and the way we do this is by using Lumerol. Um, what Lumerol does is it emulsifies oil with water when it gets wet. So it creates the foaming that you're used to with surfactants. Um, it's quite a game changer really because it means you, you can make oil based products uh, that foam. So here I've mixed all our oils uh, and uh, vitamin E etc and now I'm putting in the Lumerol. Um, at this point I could mix it and I'd have a body wash and you can leave it like that. All you need to do is change up what oils you use, what fragrance you use, etc. Um, but that there is a body wash. To make it into a scrub, we just need to add our sugar and mix that in. And again, you can adjust the quantity of sugar to oils um, that you want. With the Lumerol suggested percentage between 20 and 60% they say. Um, you don't need to use as much as 60, 20 is perfectly fine for foaming as you'll see in a minute when I test it out. Again it's an oil based product so you don't need a preservative um, but if you think you're going to get wet hands into the jar then perhaps you can use it. I'd use it if I was selling it because you don't know how people are going to use it and how much water is going to get introduced though I'd say that still wouldn't be a problem. Um, this is how it foams, an oil based scrub. I do have another video, uh, it was a banana foaming sugar scrub, that's linked below, please check that out because that goes into more detail on how to make uh, scrubs with Lumerol. So you can see this scrub is quite a lot wetter, um, but that's fine, it's going to be used in the shower, it will foam up. It's a really beautiful scrub. Um, you can also add things like poppy seeds, etc., if you want. And this is our emulsified scrub. Now, emulsified scrubs are a bit different. Um, an emulsified scrub contains emulsifiers such as emulsifying wax. Um, this means so that when it comes into contact and mixes with water, it combines to become a lotion type texture, and then that's more easily spreadable and a lot easier to wash off than your average oil based scrub. So that's why we'd create an emulsified version. Um, so what I've done is I've put the uh, oil ingredients in, melted them down. Um, I'm now adding my mica. Don't worry if it doesn't mix in 100% to begin with because it will when you uh, mix it later. And then what we need to do is leave that to set uh, either at room temperature or in a fridge. Now what I stupidly did <laughs> was uh, not turn the camera on when I brought that out the fridge. Um, so <laughs> when I brought it out the fridge I used a hand whisk to uh, mix that up um, and then I added my fragrance preservative uh, and vitamin E, um, gave that a mix again with the hand whisk and then I added the sugar, whisked that in and this is the texture that you get. 
um, and this is like one of those scoopable scrubs that uh, people seem to love at the moment. Um, you can add more sugar or more oils. It, it's up to you to get the balance of sugar to base right really for, for how you want it. Um, I like them fairly sort of malleable so um, just do what feels right for you really um, and this is what you get so let's fill our jars. So just like the other ones, this is anhydrous, so it doesn't need a preservative, although I did add one because I know I'm going to be using it in the shower a lot. Um, and this is the texture of it. If you want to adjust how thick it is, you can add more sugar, um, you can change up the oils, you can change up the butters, you can really just quite experiment with it. Um, scrubs are so easy to make, um, you don't need to use water. Um, and there you go. Let's fill another jar. And then here's all of our scrubs. Uh, they're all very different textures, um, as you can tell, and um, it really depends whether you want them foaming or fairly dry or however you want to make them and what ingredients you've got on hand. Um, if you like this video, I suggest you check out the one I mentioned below, uh, the banana foaming sugar scrub, as that's a really nice recipe using the Lumerol. Um, and if you have any questions, then drop them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also I've got a Patreon uh, link below if you want any more uh, help with your formulation, a bit of mentoring or if you just want some exclusive content and early access to our YouTube videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.